Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you a quick and effective way to make a cobblestone path or any other paved surface be painted with a portrait of someone you know. This document is 2400 by 2000 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. I downloaded this texture at cgtextures.com. Open the document that contains the face or object you want to paint onto the surface. We need to get it into the document that contains the surface. To do this, press Ctrl or Command plus A to select it, Ctrl or Command plus C to copy it, and then open up the surface document and press Ctrl or Command V to paste it into it. To increase the size of the image, we need to call up the Transform tool. Press Ctrl or Command plus T. Go to a corner and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag out. To reposition it, click inside the Transform and move it. To accept it, press Enter or Return. We need to make a selection of the face in order to cut it out from its background. There are many ways to do this, so choose the one that's the easiest and most effective for you. I'm using the Quick Selection tool for this example. I'll click and drag across the face and then go to Select and Refine Edge. The Refine Edge window will open. I'll click Smart Radius and slide the radius to about 37 pixels. I'll brush around the hair with a small to medium sized brush and then click OK. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut the selection from the image and copy it to its own layer. Hide the original layer and call up your Zoom tool. Click and drag a rectangle across the face to zoom into it. Change the Blend Mode to Overlay. Go to Filter, Artistic, and Poster Edges. The Poster Edges window will open. We'll choose 10 for the thickness, 3 for the intensity, and 6 for posterization. Depending on the size and resolution of your image, you may want to adjust these numbers. Click on the background to make it active and press Ctrl or Command plus J to make a copy of it. Drag the copy to the top and click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the texture. We need to invert the layer mask. To do this, press Ctrl or Command plus I. Let's rough up the bottom a little to make it look like it's painted on. Call up your pencil tool. Click on the arrow next to your brush tip and click on the inside arrow. This will call up your list of brush presets. I'm choosing a preset called Natural Brushes 2. You can download many brush presets for free at BrushEasy.com. If you're not sure how to install brushes and other presets, I included a link of my tutorial on this. It's in the video descriptions area. Click OK so we'll just see this set of brushes in the thumbnails window. I'll click on this brush which has a default size of 60 pixels. To make your brush larger or smaller, press on the right or left bracket keys respectively. I'll brush over the bottom edge to reveal the cobblestones through the layer mask. Remember, with layer masks, white reveals while black masks. Our pavement portrait is finished. However, if you want to place it in perspective, let's make a composite snapshot of the entire image. Press Ctrl Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. We'll copy it into a smaller 1280 by 720 pixel document so when we angle it in perspective we won't cut off anything around the perimeter. Select the image, copy it, and open the smaller size document. Paste the image into the document and call up the Transform tool. To see the entire transform on your screen, press Ctrl or Command plus zero. Click inside to center the face. Go to Edit, Transform, and Perspective. Click on a bottom corner and drag out. Both corners move the same distance at the same time. Continue to move it till you're happy with it and then press Enter or Return. Then size it up to fit onto your screen. Have fun transforming someone you know into a sidewalk portrait even on rough surfaces like cobblestones. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching. <laughs>